The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is the 10th of January, 2021. Happy Sunday to everyone. This is another installment of Incident at the U.S. Capitol, this time about Larry Rendell Brock Jr. The following information is footage and news coverage with regards to Larry Rendell Brock Jr. Just an additional note to everyone, I will continue to post this uh, as long as there are arrests being made. This channel, as all of you are well aware, deals with extreme events, no matter what side of the political spectrum it's on, and will continue to ensure that these events are recorded. So here we go with the information pertaining to the arrest of Larry Rendell Brock Jr. The nationwide dragnet underway to locate those involved in Wednesday insurrection at the Capitol includes law enforcement efforts in North Texas and an FBI poster shows a person in the Capitol whom the New Yorker has identified as a grapevine man. Fox News David Santendri joins us with the story. David. Yeah, Blake, multiple family members and a friend of Larry Brock tell the New Yorker that he had become, quote, increasingly radicalized and that he posted on social media about his plans to travel to Washington, D.C. for President Trump's rally. The FBI is seeking information on at least the dozens of people seen in these photos. And one of them is retired Lieutenant Colonel Larry Rendell Brock Jr., an Air Force Academy graduate and combat veteran, according to The New Yorker, who lives right here in North Texas. And he had a very authoritative, firm tone. And that's why I noticed it as I was walking on by. Steve Glenn lives in the Grapevine apartment complex where records show Brock lives. In fact, he says he overheard Brock speaking to someone Saturday about keeping their cool, saying, And you need to be civil. But there's really nothing civil about what Brock's accused of, rioting inside the Capitol in combat gear while carrying zip ties. ITV News images appear to show Brock leaving House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. Brock denied doing so to The New Yorker. His neighbor is disappointed. I don't think anything that I could say right now, and probably what he would say right now, would be constructive. Brock was working for Hillwood Airways in Fort Worth, which is part of the Perot family empire, headed by Ross Perot Jr. But the aviation company says Saturday he's no longer employed. Fox 4 attempted to speak with him at his listed address, but we didn't have access to get past the gate. No person answered when we called and texted his listed cell number, and an employee at the leasing office declined to comment. Brock could face criminal charges. The FBI has already arrested others who breached the Capitol. Some of them are not wearing masks and some are. Retired FBI Special Agent Gil Torres says new age technology, like facial recognition software, will assist the FBI's efforts. I think that this in itself was unique. However, we have had large venues. I mean, look at Charlottesville. He believes there have always been groups wanting to rebel against the government, but... It doesn't always show its ugly face. Brock's neighbor blames what he calls disinformation on social media that might be radicalizing some to the point of crashing the Capitol. If those sources are not honest and reliable, then you're going to end up with more conflict in the future. And I'd like to suggest this. This could have been 10 times worse. David Centendry, Fox 4 News. And FBI Dallas released a statement yesterday saying that it is providing resources to its Washington, D.C. field office, but it has not commented publicly about anything related to this case specifically. We don't know about any sort of investigation, and at this point, no charges have been filed.